South Korea has become the first country to sell both of the major frequency bands needed to develop the next generation 5G network to its mobile carriers who aim to commercialize the services by early next year. And during the two day auction, the frequencies were sold for more than 3 billion US dollars, funds that will be used to develop the nation's broadcasting and ICT sectors. Our Kim Hyo Sun reports. South Korea finished its 5G frequency auction on Monday, marking a crucial step forward in becoming the world's first country to commercialize 5G services. Frequencies were sold to South Korea's three mobile carriers for a total of 3.2 billion U.S. dollars. The Ministry of Science and ICT put up the bid for 280 megahertz of bandwidth within the 3.5 gigahertz frequency band and 2400 megahertz of bandwidth within the 28 gigahertz band. The 3.5 gigahertz frequency band considered most crucial in building a nationwide network as it travels further than the 28 gigahertz band was sold for approximately 2.6 billion dollars. The 3.5 gigahertz frequencies were sold in 28 blocks of 10 megahertz, and each carrier was limited to 10 blocks or a total of 100 megahertz to prevent monopolization. Korea's largest carrier, SK Telecom, and its closest rival, KT, both took the largest possible amount of the frequencies on bid with 10 blocks or 100 megahertz of the 3.5 gigahertz band. The smallest carrier, LG U Plus, settled for the remaining eight blocks. The 28 gigahertz frequency blocks were sold evenly to the three carriers. The money paid by the three companies will be used to develop broadcasting contents and information and communications technology. The ICT Promotion Fund is used for the development of information and communications technology, and Broadcasting and Communications Development Fund is used in various areas within the broadcasting sector. With the finalization of the frequency bid, Korea's mobile carriers aim to commercialize 5G network by March 2019, contributing to the nation's goal of leading global 5G development. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.